we doing? We are watching a bunch of attempted recreations of various shots that we have used in videos. Yeah, like the intense intro-esque robot shots the channel's kind of been known for. Yeah. And a lot of people try and recreate them. It's fun because we know exactly how it was done. We were there, we made them, and now it'll be fun to see how people, obviously they won't be able to do it with the exact same tools, but it'll be yeah. fun to see how they recreate and how close they get. How do you know get? someone doesn't have a Mia at home? That's actually true. Well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll find out. Basically, each of these is gonna be the original clip that you guys shot first, and then after that will be uh, sort of the, the, the fan recreation. Cool. So we'll start with uh, one of your guys' intros. Oh yeah, just off of the track. I always I remember this one. This I one mean, we, we went crazy with the pen. Brandon went crazy with the pen. Wait, this is our intro? Yeah. Okay, I was like, they nailed it. Yeah, no, 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 no <laughs> this is ours. <laughs> and now it dances. Mm hmm. What's up? Vin with the, the Frankenstein <laughs> Apple pencil on the front of the Komodo. So now here's a fan one. Let's get it. Okay, so this is. I mean. I dig this music. That looks like an exact. Their device is much cleaner than ours. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think that that has to be one of the things that. Um, oh, I love that animation. Actually. Yeah. That's like we, so we struggle with product cleanliness in this uh, building a lot. Oh no! But that has speckles on it right there. This is real. Actually, do you know what they did? That was might be even a little better than ours. Is like those. Drawing had that kind of like snap to it where like yeah. uh, on like Photoshop or whatever it has the like pen tool I I could tell it was funny some of the shots. I was literally like is that our shot? Like it looks like it's they, like they could cut between yeah. our shots and their shots, but I could tell on the iPad Shot where you sort of connect the camera to the pen. Mm -hmm. That's the fun one and they had like some bubbles in the screen protector. So I was oh, like, oh, I didn't notice that. It's not our that. shot, but it is okay. a different angle, but it looked really There cool. was, it like, when it laid down, it right at the end, it like softened up a little bit and you could tell they were trying to get it perfect. I don't know how they did it, but. Is it animation for half of this and then like real product for the other half? I think this is full animation. You think it's full, even like the portion even with the, macros. the iPad having like speckles on it? Yeah, I think that was put in there in post. So what I did is I just took the iPad, mounted it on top of a fluid head, and recreated the motion of okay. it forward. And then I took a picture it. off my gray wall to use as a background. Yeah, but that's and really smart to do it with the iPad. tripod head, so rather than like, we still use the motorized yeah, slider when we do that. That's the results I was looking for, but I was not completely satisfied with it. So in the end, I took the second way, which was do it in 3D. I am actually learning 3D for a couple of months now. So I already had made the iPad model in 3D. I just uh, so had to recreate the motion and everything. And that was CG. You know, but he like nailed the lighting though. That. Yeah. Like that so looked really real. Yeah. <laughs> 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 like, no, okay. years. That's insane. And the challenging part about these shots were that I don't have a macro lens to get that. Yeah. To Those were in post. So wow. I just used these macro extension tubes. Uh, just Macro extension, oh, smart. Yeah. That looked amazing. It can kind of turn a lens into a macro. I, I mean, you you fooled me. Fluid head and did the uh, motion of the iPad just tilting forward and then in post I masked the iPad. The fluid head was like really, I really did. smart. That because was a really, really short, good idea. The Apple Pencil just glitched into the scene and that- again, Yeah, that part seemed real. real. That, that looked like nice. That looked like the way that we did it. created this- that morph is beautiful. Uh, forming up shot. I took my slider, mounted it upside down using a light stand and a yep. jerry rig setup. And then I took my friction arm and I mounted the. Uh, you mounted a, a slider <laughs> upside down? Impressive. That's. Oh, that's literally what we did. What we did. Right. Yeah. For the pencil. So. 
masked out the whole slider thing. Oh, wow. Him. Even the post-production is exactly what I did. That's yep. it. That gave me the shot of the pencil moving in straight lines. I <laughs> Nailed it. took my camera. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Oh my god, there's the pencil rig. Nice. That rig looks almost exactly like ours. That's close yeah. to what we do with the mm -hmm. yep. Just a bunch of different arms that can get out far enough. <laughs> that, that honestly, like, I, mm, I think if I hadn't watched ours, like, somewhat recent, or like even before this if I if you didn't it, edit it <laughs> literally, um, we wouldn't have known. There's I no would way. have watched that and just been like, yeah, that's our video that's an mkvhd intro like that looks so similar that was so similar Great. that was amazing that was really really good i like that that's one of the harder ones to redo like if you had to pick any of our videos to decide all right i want to see if i can redo this mkvhd video this is like a long like 15 second yeah, yeah like storytelling moving device type of piece that was and good that's a lot to take on so that was good. That was really well done. Again, this one's gonna be original shot and then fan made. Lit. Oh, 11 Pro. Oh, I forgot about this intro. What this will always get me about this, as much as I love it, is in this bottom left corner, that record player scoots back in for like, Four frames and it yeah. infuriates me. Because we did the slow zoom out and we could have done the, the slow zoom a little bit faster, but because the record player had a little bit of a, yeah. a hitch, we couldn't zoom out as fast. But that is the, one of the funniest behind the scenes. Yeah, that <laughs> all started with like us doing top down and doing top down for so long that we wound up using this new D brand plate. Yeah, you can see me like under the table. I think I specifically say, I was like, how fast do you want me to? And you were like, medium? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I, I don't know why I asked. But basically the next day I came in and Marquez handed me the shot and he was like, yeah, so I want like you to extend the background and then have it rotate and then have the text show up. And it was like such a process because like it's such a complex background like the plate that they used for top down yeah that like i couldn't repeat it well and mm -hmm. have it look real it just looked like i tiled it i think i took it into after effects eventually it was just such mm -hmm. a mishmash of things but yeah then we finally landed there but um that was a classic example of like not knowing where we were going to end up and uh just seeing what would happen that was a good time that was okay that was someone recreated one. this i want to see how they did that let's see it Even had the cine bars. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I like that. It's a little. It's a different touch with the red. Text is here. <laughs> nice. Slice <Slice-holding. laughs> holding. Okay, but that that got the point across. The hardest part I remember because I think Brandon was the one who was working on the final zoom move, which is. We went from a vertical phone to a horizontal phone because we yeah. wanted to do the whole horizontal text mm -hmm. thing. And we did the fade while the phone was rotating. Yeah. So we had to make sure we masked the phone really well and rotated the phone and the background while fading the background during the rotation. And I think we had to do the fade because originally we were just trying to turn it, but since then the background would be a different yeah. aspect ratio. We had to do the fade or else there would have been blank That's spots That's why side. we did that. That's yeah. why we did that. Oh yeah, how'd they so do you it? You wanna basically lay the um, thing down like yep, so. Yep, that's what we and did. Really we had the D-brand plate, another D-brand plate on the camera, or like a, did we do I white phone cord? Uh, Can we pull back our video I don't quick? remember. I what did we have? The yeah. This oh, there you go. Frame. And that's it. Oh, it was just a box. You didn't even have a plate. How much double-sided tape did you use? That's my question. <laughs> a book is a lot heavier than AirPods. <laughs> I feel like we should take that into consideration for the next bigger top-downs or something like that. Yeah. Oh, oh, this one. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm KBHD here. The and mosquito this lens. Is the new Pro yeah, probe. Was that the probe? It's got to be. It's so close to the laptop. It's so yeah. close. Those buttons look so fake. I remember we tried to use the robot for this, mm -hmm. and then we ended up just ditching it using a slider. Yeah, it couldn't get close enough to the keyboard. It was also jittering up a storm. Mm -hmm. The thing I always remember about 
every shot we ever do with the probe oh. lens is you need 12,000 times as much light as you need. pure white and just, yeah. And so anything we try to do, like the fact that you can see the MacBook Pro screen means it's probably all the way up max brightness. And looks like it's at like a two or a three on the brightness scale. Yeah, like it looks like it's almost off. Pouring light onto this thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know this kid. Oh. Yeah, I think I've seen him on Twitter. Okay. So that's about as close as you can get without the probe. Yeah, and without, because we had it on the robot, right? So that's why it could stop so cleanly. Or do we just have it on a slider? We may have just we had could it on do, slider. We could do it with slider. And the thing is we do the slide forward, but we also definitely rotated the frame and post because we can't do that whole rotation move. Mm -hmm. So we do the slide, we get the ports on the side of the laptop, and we come over the top to the new keyboard. And then just for interestingness, we make it a sort of an orbit so you feel like you're flying a little bit. Even though we have, what is it? Our slider, one slider track is three or four feet long. Mm -hmm. The issue is, is if you're going straight onto something, the slider gets in the shot. So you really only have as much room as the lens can make it in front of the slider or else then the slider's in the shot and ruins the whole thing. It's really a shot designed for the probe lens. Yeah. Like the lens being this, this far from the camera lets uh -huh. you get that far into the subject. Yeah. That's great. I wish they could have the probe lens though with a better aperture so we did, could actually I shoot in that. normal lighting. Oh yeah. Oh. That yeah. reflection is brutal. Why did we tough. not have the guard on it? Well, cause we did the moves after. Oh yeah. I was gonna say this move feels like early robot move for us because especially with Mia, not a lot of range of motion mm -hmm. there. And so we just had like, we wanted to probably get all the way around the side, all the way down low, but we couldn't. You couldn't and then you would also have seen the battery holding the phone up. True, if you go too we do need far, to do better on that. Yeah. yeah. That phone design was terrible. Yeah. Yeah. That was not good. <laughs> yeah. But the lighting changes, that was all that was all by hand, actual I think. practical. Yeah. Back on the phone. Get the camera. There you go. Get the battery. Okay. Zoom out to the front. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that was a really smooth transition between front and back there. It that did was really work. Good. It did um, work. It had to he so you, to wait. pull that off in post cuz this is this is multiple shots, I this think. This is multiple shots, and this is not robot. I kind of see the same well, you reflection can, yeah. stuff that we had. I think he might have used um, actual zoom yeah. for that, or maybe like post zoom to like punch into a different part that of it. Looked that, like, that looked like, like zoom zoom. Really? It was yeah. like par focal zoom then. Zoom. Oh yeah, that is that is also the Megadeth hot oh, sauce. Flair's Pro. Megadeth sauce. <laughs> Jeez, I'm having that's, flashbacks. Yeah, that's sh probably showing you around the time. This is like Hot oh. One season four. And oh, I used to do that. A, like, yeah, I used to do that a lot more actually. Oh, the th so he does it until the third like hits and mm -hmm. then it stops and then he can keep it there, replace the phone. Yeah, that's really smart. You're busy. I'm trying to remember what the song was for. Oh. oh, this is still my favorite intro I've ever made. Asus. This is a really fun one. Yeah. Yeah. This part made it right here. Brandon yeah. probably like, attracts motion graphics. Spent like 40 hours on doing some of this stuff. And then we had me walk between the table and the psych and grab the phone. Asus yeah. <laughs> Wait, do you notice how low down this is because of me? I like. You walk past the table, it's like under your knee when you yeah, come by. Yeah, that's true. But you know, you don't have to think too hard about how low the table is. I'm just grabbing the phone. You're just 12 feet tall. Yeah, no big deal. No, that was a fun one because as we went over the top of the table, every one of the things that we put on the table was mm -hmm. related to some spec of the phone. This was like a high, this is a phone game, at yeah. every spec. It was Huge gaming battery, too, gaming yeah. phone, the speakers and everything. If you go back to the table, so what do we have? An SSD here for that terabyte of storage. We got the fast charger the on the table. The headphone jack. We have literal RAM on the table. We have a motherboard, but also a GPU for high power I'm graphics. I'm pretty sure I tore apart a uh, like gaming laptop for some of these pieces. Yeah, actually. We've got we have, sketches. Yeah. We wrote one terabyte down. We wrote 6,000 milliamp hours down. And then we got to the end with the, the gaming headphones in the back and the gaming CPU and the gaming GPU. That's one of my favorite it's, shots. Yeah, it's uh, we. It took a lot of work to make it look like a messy studio. Yeah, 
We're good at clean, we're not good at messy. We did also start out of focus. Oh, there you yeah, go. Yeah, that's the same effect right there, bro. The passing animations. Nice. That DeLorean, too. Sure. I yeah. might have used that if I had one. So I'm looking at his props here. He's got another phone. He's got an Ace of... Hey. Oh, you got to grab the tripod, too, man. No, do you know what, though? He didn't try and hide it. That's true. And I actually that's think true. that's a really smart way of doing it, is like... This is clutter, there's stuff around. Mm -hmm. It is being held up by a tripod, but I'm not hiding it, so it adds to the clutter. That's that's, that's a really good way to do it. <laughs> this... I forgot we had to do that. You had to pick the battery up yeah. in the first shot. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're spoiled. We have robots, and we can... Yeah, we have the robots do the work for make us. Make this kind so. of stuff a lot easier, whereas like you have to like actually like really be strategic about this kind of stuff. Um, and a but... lot of post-stabilization. Literally. <laughs> also, like not to even mention the... Hel like. I don't know if you would help on this, but like the fact that you also had to pick up the phone at the end and have the movement. Oh, and then stopped that. Yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna call that move the. What was his name? Jack Gordon. That's yeah. the Jack Gordon. We're gonna move bring back now. the Jack Gordon. It's with the, the tripod leg. The two tripod legs into the stopper. Yeah. I like Brilliant. That. Brilliant move. Well done. Well done, Jack. Oh, this this is fun. in Portland. Yeah. Mm. There's a zoom there. Wow, so wait, we would that was what we did with Sean. Yeah. We were astounded by, it, but looking at that now after dozens of shots, like we've gotten much but be much better at it. We've gotten I mean, so that's the first time we ever shot with the robot. That was also a zoom lens and we attempted a zoom during the motion blurred Parts move, of it worked well, parts of it didn't work Which well. seemed really cool when we thought about it, but in hindsight, I don't think we've done that since. Mm, it's just, no. it's just you gotta keep it natural with just the camera moving in, not changing focal length. We did do a Zolly recently, which is hard to do. But that's a slower. Yeah, much move. slower. I yep. don't remember that at all. A couple of whips cool. to different close-ups and then yeah, back out and then a soft slide. It's like movement, zoom, focus. A lot of different variations in speed. Yeah. Okay, so besides seeing the lens, that was like okay. completely nailed. Is the camera on like a bunch of books? You're... And you're sliding around books on oh, the table? Oh, so boom. That's, that's what boom, I would assume. Boom. Or like a towel or oh. something. I'm trying to think of how this might be shot with a phone. And he comes in relatively close and does I'm trying to figure out if this was like sped up or if there's added It looks like there's blur. some sort of speed ramping in there somewhere. If you like slide on a box or something so you can like do it handheld but not quite handheld and you have like a stable point you know what I mean? To land so you slide on this you could have a sock under your wrist, whatever. You just slide on the table, get to the thing slide over. So you think he's got over. like something just to slide, uh, just to not have your hand on the table. Okay. Yeah, but I think it's hand, it's handheld on a phone. What I did is I held up paper towel. Yeah, towels he's using a paper towel. And then I just went on sliding. <sighs> the this the is phone. genius. <sighs> yeah, see, because you're. So the books are the reference points for where to stop. Oh, that's a good area. idea. And so good. Yeah, just good choreo. Yeah, literally. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure you did like thirty thousand takes, but damn. I don't know if I use a cardboard box or something, but basically you can like use something like that to slide around, like get a paper towel, yeah. and then your hand on the surface doesn't slide as much. So I would like use my hand as a, a literal handbrake. Like I would slide <laughs> and then put my hand down, and it would just stop. And so I put my hand down and it was just, that's how I would have I done it, but I like the book idea better. This you just stop. This is genius. The paper towel, the a phone, a small little tripod. Whenever we say, well, mostly when you say like, just get out and start creating, you don't need all this equipment. This person replicated a couple hundred thousand dollar robot shot with a paper towel, two books, and a phone tripod. Like yeah. that's insane. You, there's no excuse to not try. 
because yeah. this is that was amazing wow we enjoyed them very much that was awesome i love this this is awesome this is really cool this makes like all of the the hard work that we go through to like make these a thing all worth it really well done people are all right really we gotta creative. step our game up i said we the do. word you notice that when i say uh, that word mac realizes it's time to go all right <laughs> that's uh we gotta step our game up i hope people keep trying it and i'm hoping they're learning something when they do it because i, I mean i'm sure everyone here it's too easy to be like you just copied blah blah, blah you just copied them keep doing it because you're gonna learn a lot trying these different moves and hopefully yeah. then you can put your own spin on it and it'll look really awesome Are we doing this again? Podcast I'm doing my outro. awkward podcast, it's a podcast outro. Outro. Oh boy. Oh boy. Careful, Mac. Whew, it got warm in here. Yeah, no age. I was going to take Mac's paw and try and go it out, but I would definitely <laughs> rock this screen, so I don't want to do that. It's okay. We'll just send it back to Apple. Yeah, yeah, Apple. Sorry, we broke your screen. How? I lifted my dog over it. <laughs>